Hello everyone, my name is Raven and welcome to Raven Gaming Labs and welcome to uh, this is just like a preview of, you know, Unreal's uh, new Niagara fluid system. And I wanted to see how good it would work on older machines. And eh, I mean, it it works OK. It works about like you'd expect. It's a very high end feature. This Windows machine is pretty old. This Windows machine only has a 1070 in it. And um, yeah, I think it'd be better to, you know, switch over to the workstation, which runs Linux and has a 3090 in it. But uh, let's uh, let's just like see if this will work. All right. Excellent. So it does work. Sometimes sometimes when I start this, it just like carves through and then nothing happens. This is still very much a beta, but I mean, you know, this is incredible. Like having a game engine with a real time uh, fluid solver built in. And you could do all kinds of stuff. And you know that this is just the beta. Eventually, more than likely, they will eventually have it so that, you know, it works on all platforms. Well, not just all platforms, but, you know, on a wide variety of maps. And it's fairly dynamic as well. Uh, you can also bake it. So, you know, it's it's pretty neat. I truly find this very impressive because, you know, it's not just a you know, what we've traditionally had for dynamic water. Like, this is an actual literal fluid system. And to showcase that even better than, say, this map here, we'll open up Water 2. And you can see it's running in the real-time preview there, and it's just, it's filling up. And the simulation isn't turned up too high, because unfortunately the poor 1070 starts to, like, really break down. But if we go in here, we can push it. You can see it still has some issues where it just kind of explodes. Uh, that's actually one of the reasons why the other uh, video, or not the other video, but the other map that I had, um, that's actually one of the reasons why I didn't have anything in it because anytime I tried to put colliders in it, yeah, we just do that, which is like super cool. Like that's really not whatever I can get it to. No, is it going to be random again? There we go. Yes. So, uh, but let's take a look at, this is not a tutorial or anything. I just wanted to showcase the, you know, the feature itself. But let's take a look at what other options we do have. So if we want to create it, uh, you got to, why do I go to project settings? You're going to have to go to plugins. And I really recommend you have an RTX or higher card. Um, I'm going to try it on the Linux machine. I think it'll work through Vulkan. We'll find out. Um, but I think it would work much... I know it would work significantly better on a 3090 than a 1070. The several years ahead is significantly more powerful hardware. Um, but all you have to do is go into plugins, type in fluid. You can enable it. And then it'll ask you to restart. And then you restart. And then you just go to Niagara Systems. And then you hit Next. And then you have all these different built-in systems for creating a wide variety of things. And it is actually pretty cool. Now, you can create stuff like shallow water, which I actually haven't messed with. So let's mess with this and see what kind of, you know, destruction we can get up to. And it will have to do a bit of compiling now. Oh, there we go. Maybe I have to I have to drag it up a little. Okay, just drag it up. Okay, so this is this is significantly faster and also quite nice if you want. Um, I'm gonna add the this. This is so the player can interact with it. But yeah, see, this is much better for probably most scenes. It's it's significantly quicker and it's nice. You just throw it in and well, there you go. I mean. Obviously, you know, you'd want to create like a, a better or more custom uh, material system for it. But this is this is what you would normally expect from most, uh, you know, uh, you know, water systems in the past. Uh, so it's, a, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Um, but we do have some other systems. I'm actually going to just remove that one there. And just go up to Niagara system and then grab this and then scroll down. And yeah, there's a, there's a fair bit. This one has uh, particles colliding. And I use the flip hose and the flip pool. These are very expensive. 
so unless you're targeting something like simulations because again you could bake all of this so if you wanted to and like you know to create like a fluid simulation for a movie or a tv show or even for your game well you can bake it and then just play it back it'll take up some disk space but you know if i were to bake it it would work just fine on say a 1070 most likely i don't see why it wouldn't uh you know blender plays back just fine so i don't see any reason why unreal system wouldn't however the caveat would be is that it would no longer be real time so you would be stuck with you know it's good for like cut scenes and stuff like that so that's actually all i wanted to show uh, i'm not really going to do a tutorial or anything like this i just wanted to play around with it i might come back you know later today or tomorrow if i get it working on the workstation um and then show it off working on the 3090 the 3090 is significantly more powerful and if you happen to have like a 4090 or amd's equivalent you would have even more horsepower to work with and you could probably do some extremely very cool and very impressive things so thanks for watching everyone uh this is a really quick video i will see you all in the next the next one whenever that happens to be y'all have a good one Hey everyone, thanks for watching Raven Gaming Labs. Thanks to all the members and viewers who make RGL possible. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell so that you can be notified. If you want to become a member, hit the join button or link in the description below. Members get early access to videos, member exclusive content, and more. As well, don't forget to join our awesome community over at Discord. Y'all have a good one.